Okay, uh, learning objectives to study the operation of a non inverting amplifier. Number two, to know how, a cir how the circuit of a non inverting amplifier is connected. Three, to observe the output voltages based on the gain from different combination of feedback resistor and input resistor. Number four, to analyze the output based on the given this input. And lastly, to calculate the present difference from the measured and the calculated value. Okay, uh, this portion uh, of the experiment, we're going to measure the resistance of the feedback resistor and our input resistor. So this is our feedback resistor. Oh, sorry, this is our uh, feedback resistor, yes. So it measures, as you can see, 9.91 K ohms. Okay, so the big one. No, that is a uh, brown, brown, black, and orange. So that is 10k, but it measures only 9.9 volts. Then we measure the input resistance here. Okay. So this one measures 3.24k ohms. No. So I think that is a uh, orange, orange, and red color. So that will be our feedback resistor. Okay, so take note of that one. Now, okay. Okay, so we're going to measure now the supply voltage. So to make uh, our measurement easier, so I'm going to plug in now my, my ground here. As you can see here, my ground, I clip it to my, um, to the tester. So that I will already be measuring one point so all my measurement will be with reference to the voltage so i'm going to measure as you can see here i'm going to measure it from here which will be zero because that is i'm measuring myself so if i'm going to measure here i'm going to measure the applied voltage which is uh, uh, 11.2 as you can see now as you can see it's 11.2 so now this voltage supply as you can see runs on this rail so the red and the blue rail so the red rail is your um, positive voltage and your blue rail will be your uh, ground or your negative voltage so what I will do now is I'm going to measure now the voltage here so I supply your potentiometer with the supply bolt so this is your ground and this is your uh, 11 your 12 volts or 11.2 volts so here as you can see 12 volts here 11.2 volts so here there so this is your ground so with reference to the ground it's 11.2 now as we have discussed a potentiometer provides a variable voltage a different voltage from the supply voltage so if i have 11 volts here i can get a voltage here from um, say here so you get here so that is a, a 3.5 so as you adjust it here you can adjust it to 2.2 2. 2 point something or you can adjust it here so this is where we are going to get our voltage supply okay so that like that one see here so now i'm going to set it to Okay, so let us check now. Our uh, so I connected the my uh, output of my potentiometer to the pin number three of our operational amplifier. So again, let us check now the input voltage. So that's two point zero six. No? So that will be two point zero six going to our pin three of our voltage there. So two point zero six. So with our um, with our feedback resistor 10k and uh, our um, uh, input resistor as 3.2 uh, I think that is orange red red so that is 3 2 then uh, 2 0 so it's 3.2 so that will be so I made this uh, calculation here 
I made the calculation here so that is uh, here wait so this is uh, it's 3.2 our RF is 10.k so our um, gain will be 1 plus 10 divided by 3.2 so that is 3.125 plus 1 that is 4.125 okay so our total gain will be 4.125 so our expected output will be so b out is given to a multiplied by b in so expected output will be 8.25 so we are going to measure now from pin 6 from our power, from our operation of the pi so this is your pin 6 so here 5 6 so here pin 6 so our output was okay so our output voltage is 8.66 so not bad or not far from our expected or theoretical value of 8.25 so these two voltages is that one you're going to compare so this is your theoretical value and this is your measured value and you measure the and you measure the and you measure the percent difference between the two output okay so what we will do next is try to change now the values of our um, uh, feedback resistor and um, find out what will be the gain no gain and the output voltage okay so Take note of that one, uh, get your pay, pens and paper so that you're going to uh, put it on your table, okay? Okay, let's check now. Our input voltage, sorry, I was not able to check that one. So it's still, it's um, two volts is holding. So I connected there your um, your uh, feedback, your input resistor, I changed it to 2.2. With our uh, voltage, our feedback resistor remaining as 10 volts, so we will just measure now here. It will be the so 10.5. Okay, 10.5. Did you get that? So you calculate the gain, then the calculated uh, uh, gain and calculated voltage output then compare that to our measured voltage which is 10.53 okay our input is uh, okay it is already 2.1 okay, so. okay so 2 then 10.5 okay so then i'm going to the so then I'm going to the, change this one now to the um, feedback resistor. I'm going to change it with 1.5. This one's 1.5 as you can see. Brown, green, and red. So I'm going to put it here on my feedback into my pin number 2. So let's just check now our uh, input voltage still 2.0. So our output voltage will be 10.4 so I guess uh, you have reached your saturation voltage check if your voltage is um, if your voltage is um, uh, if your calculated voltage is greater than 10 points or 11 so that already is your saturation voltage now, what I want to explain to you here is that we see here, our input voltage to our supply is uh, 11.2, okay? Now, because of the circuit processing there, so some voltage drop will happen there, will happen in your circuit, then your output voltage, your saturation voltage will not be exactly as your supplied voltage. Theoretically, it's supposed to be your supplied voltage. But since there will be some voltage drop also in your uh, circuit here, so the voltage saturation voltage will be a little bit less than your supply voltage. Your supply voltage is um, 11.2. So this is um, two times, uh, two volts times a gain of, uh, that is 10 divided by 1.5. So that's uh, approximately, uh, 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 10 divided by 1.5 okay so that is uh, that is uh, 6 6 point something right 10 divided by the 
1.5 so 3 ano no that is uh, 3 6 9 so yes approximately 6, six something so 6 multiplied by 2 that will be approximately already 12 all right so 12 is greater than 11.2 which is your um, which is your uh, such your, uh, supply voltage here yeah, your supply voltage is at 11.2 okay and your theoretical value is uh, your theoretical value or your calculate value supposedly or you're expecting a value that is uh, uh, 6 point something multiplied by 2 so this is approximately greater than 12 so definitely your output voltage here will be your output voltage here will be your saturation voltage and which is only 10.44 so that is your saturation um go back to our uh, previous resistor which is your uh, uh wait I, I have here three so here three this is three this is three oh uh three k so 10 divided by six is 33 so uh 33 uh, 3.3 divided multiplied by 2 that is 6.6 .6 approximately okay so this is uh so your gain now will be uh, 10 10 divided by 3.3 .3, so that's around 3 right so 3 multiplied by 2 that's equivalent to 6 so let us check now how, how much is our output voltage our output voltage is why is it uh 2 only Okay, ah, so I guess it's this there. They will probably the same. So here, we have two. Ah, no, so, sorry. I, I put it in the wrong side. In the wrong hole. So here. So pin two. There, pin two. That's why I'm wondering why is it very less. Okay, so pin two. To the ground. So I'm going to measure it here. So 9.19. So, 3 multiplied by 10 divided by the 3, that is 3.3 .3 multiplied by, why is it like that? Uh, 3, so 2. So, 3.3 .3 plus 1, remember, right? 3.3 .3 plus 1, 4.3 multiplied by 2, so that's 8.6. So, our output voltage is 9. 9.1 9.2 so you just measure um, you just calculate what will be the percent difference but um, I guess it's pretty close or it is um, uh, conclusive that uh, your gain is multi your input voltage of 2 will be multiplied by your gain which is 4.3 4.3 then you get 4.3 multiplied by 2 it's 8.6 8.6 is the uh, with the uh, uh, measured value of 9.2, so a, a difference of 0.6, then you calculate. Okay. Then I will I will try to change now the the feedback resistor. Okay, I changed now my feedback resistor. So I put here my 3k ohms, and this is your 1.5. So your um, your uh, gain will be 3 divided by 1.5 so that is uh, 2 2 plus 1 so 3 so you have a gain of 3 so i have your voltage of 2 volts so i will be expecting a voltage of 6 okay so let's check if it, is, it will come 6 yes 6 6.15 all right 6 one, six point, so multiply it by uh, uh, 3 because um, 3 3k divided by 1.5 so that is uh, 2 plus 1 so that is 3 so you have 3 here now I'm going to change now my input let us check if it will it will uh, it will uh, hold okay so I'm going to change now my input to say for example uh, 4 Okay, so that's how you 
So that's how you derive different voltages from potentiometer. Okay. So 4, 4 times 3, that is 12, right? 4 times 3, that is 12. But remember, our saturation voltage is 10 point something only. So there, 10.4, our saturation voltage. Our expected voltage is uh, 12, but our uh, measured voltage will be 10.32, which is um, our saturation voltage. Our supply voltage is um, 11.2. Our saturation voltage is 10.35. Okay. So that's it, guys. So I hope you have observed. Okay. So it would be nice if you if you do this experiment by yourself but um, uh, maybe next time okay uh, with that uh, let's uh, end now okay complete this table based from the result of the given experiment just uh, Input here in the table the values of your feedback resistor and your input resistor. Then indicate or input here your uh, measured values of your uh, feedback resistor and input resistor. Then uh, calculate your gain based on the values. Indicate here your uh, voltage in then enter your voltage output your calculated and your measured then calculate the percent difference okay thank you